Warhorse. Good. All right, welcome to another vlog, guys. If you're new to this channel, my name's Daniel, aka Human Car Sounds. And today, we're heading off to Motive DVD's studio. Andrew actually has a studio now, and he has openly invited people to come and check it out and see what's going on and what's new for Motive DVD. So I caught up Jamie today and asked him if he wants to tag along. So Jamie, Fee, and I are going to be heading over there now. I forgot to tell you guys, um, before, after I finish work, I actually purchased something and I actually want to show you guys. Check this out. Purchased this microphone. Um, look, I'm not an audio expert or anything like that, so hopefully I did a good job. Guys, comment down below if you think I done a good job. You know, this was under $200, which was my budget. Um, I did go to a place called DJ City, I think it was. The guy tripped out when I told him what the reason was why I'm getting a microphone. I make fun noises with my mouth. So I think this will do the job. I'm going to install this soon and start making some car sounds and see how it goes. So, oh, it should be good, guys. It should be good. Even the ones that I've done already on my channel, I'm probably going to do a version 2. So, all right. Got my keys, got my phone, got my wallet. Let's go. What are we having for dinner? I think I'm craving HSP, yeah? Can't go wrong with a kebab. V, oh. HSP, yes. Yeah. Yes, no one can ever say no to HSP. Oh. Bad place for that guy on a Tommy's. Oh. We're lost. Oh. Maybe not. What? That's the exit, isn't it? Ah, oh, there's, there's the ramp. He's christening your bathroom. <laughs> I'm about to go spider house on this shit. Congratulations on the new place. Thanks, brother. Really, what do you reckon? Really well. Wonderful. It's a man cave. It's like almost like a man well, cave. Half, half. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, We're let's gonna go. do a tour. Do a tour. Right, let's go. Tour. So this is the shop front. Yeah. Uh, where we have some Motive merchandise. That camera's not for sale. <laughs> PBG gearbox on display, a hangout area for customers and stuff. So if a customer hires the place, they can hang out in here. And we also going to go to White Wall Studio. You can see a bit of a shoot going on now. And this is our garage studio, which can be decorated. So we can decorate in here to be like suit JDM or low rider, race car, hot rods, whatever you want. So we can basically this is all. So when you're shooting in here, you roll up the vinyl and you move this out so it's all white. And then um, you've got in here. We've got a mad view out the back to party as well. So you can see all oh, the mountains and everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like some sort of like Tokyo Drift style. <laughs> <laughs> We've got wow. a 460 car underground car park we can do shoots in as well down the bottom. Car meets as well if you well, want to. maybe. Simulator, yeah, obviously. Uh, admin person can sit here. You can hang out. And then we got Shane's editing suite. Yeah. And then we got my editing suite. Right here. The office. That's where the magic happens. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we kind of, we've got another office out here that isn't used yet. Holy crap, I didn't even expect this side. This is... So we've got another office in there that's not used yet. If clients need to use a shower before they shoot models, whatever. Yep. We'll keep cameras in there. <laughs> and this is like a, a fashion slash bedroom studio and stuff that can be decked out for people that want to do like a like rearrange the furniture and do like a you know sort of furniture bedroom shoot. 
then we get a good view. And you still get the good view. Just bought it as an empty unit. Now look at it. Yeah. So how long did it take you to get it to well, where it is now? We've been working at the same time. So essentially what we did is this, this office in here was already here. So as soon as we moved, before we even moved in, the day we got the keys, we built that and got the editing suites up and running within a week. And we basically just worked our way through. And we've been we've been filming and editing the whole time while we're building, so it's taken three months. And um, yeah, we just, just keep working away at it while we because we obviously the editing and filming is what's paying for it, all the yeah. corporate work. Um, we didn't borrow any money, we didn't get any loans, we just head down, bum up, and spend everything. I'm all in, mate. Here, no cash. Here, there's no cash, all right? Cash, no. Put everything I've got into it. Like, I mean everything I've got. Here's down. Um, essentially, downstairs is, we Jet Studios can be hired. So we hire Jet Studios out to clients. They can dry hire it, or they can hire the studio and hire us. But essentially, Jet Multimedia, our corporate production company, and Jet Studios are kind of, like in a way, separate. But the good thing is, all the motive stuff, now we can go down there and we can film all cool tech stuff and we can shoot our cars there and we, we can up our production value and everything. So yeah. So all our tech features, and we've got a new TV, like online TV show tech features that we want to do, and we're going to film it all here, and yeah. So it's good. And a lot of history here too. Look at that. What about? Ignition one, mate. Ignition one. No way! And the very first ignition I ever made was that one. Where's the one? There's one that I bought when I was 10 years old. <laughs> Where is it? Guys, this was the first DVD I ever bought at Autobahn back when I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Since then, that's when I started following Jet 200. So I started work for Ignition in December 2005. And that came out February, March 2006. So that's how long I've been doing this for. Wow. And I was commentating for a year before that. So yeah, it takes a while. But if you want to build what you like, this, to me, this is just, this is building the dream. Like no one said, hey, what job would you like? Like we just, it morphed and evolved into my, what I wanted as my dream job, I had to make it. Which is 10 times harder, takes 10 times longer, 10 times more pain, but 10 times more worth it. Nothing's easy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, you have to do well, you have to do at least one one noise for us. Oh yeah. Shano! Alright, here with Daniel, you know him as human car sounds. <laughs> Can you do GDR? <laughs> A lot of rotors in Cuda, have you? Oh, this is who scared me. Oh. Um, this is this is the this noise is. that rotors make at Cuda. Motive DVD. We're at Cuda Mundra. 13B Bridgeport. Do a burnout before we do the Cuda run. Notice you can do a donut at Kuda Mundra and get away with it? You notice that? Yeah, that's right. So I'm back home now, just on the internet as every car guy does, looking at parts that he can't afford or whatnot. <laughs> but um, no, I'm actually on I'm actually on on the net now because today while I was at work, I was I thought to myself, if the dashboard needs to come out of Lynn, I thought maybe I should probably change change the globes for the cluster. So maybe go to an LED globe. I'd love to get a TRD cluster, but I don't think they're worth 1500 bucks. They are super tax by far, so that's not gonna happen. So I think I might just go LED 
globes for the cluster. We'll see, and I'm thinking maybe if I can, I'll try and find a better Series 1 dash, because my one, it is in good condition for its age, but you can see a little bit of cracks, and I thought if I can find one that's cleaner, why not, you know, if, if the dashboard's going to come out, so, yeah, looking at clusters now and LED globes, and maybe have a look at some other things like the buttons for the uh, AC and all that stuff, I know, I think it's Prospec imports up in Queensland they've got these mad dialing buttons that you can put um, that are aftermarket they've even got like little S badges on them for like climate control and all that so it's really cool yeah this is where I'm gonna end the video guys I'm just gonna have a look around and look at super stuff that I need to get cool. thanks for watching guys like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.